This is WVTM 13. Breaking news is happening right now. That breaking news tonight, new developments in the viral incident that led to a high school band director facing serious charges. Good evening, I'm Gladys Bautista in for Sherry Falk tonight. I'm Guy Rawlings, thanks for joining us at 10. Uh, last Thursday, minor high school band director Johnny Mims was tased and arrested after a football game between Minor and Jackson Olin. The Birmingham police say he did not listen to officers when asked to stop the band from playing. He was then tased and arrested in front of his staff, boosters, and 145 band students. We're now getting new footage of what happened after the crowd dispersed. We want to warn you, some of the dialogue in this body camera footage may be difficult to listen to. Look, look at this time. Okay. Come on, man. Look at this time. Brother, you making it worse. I'm you making, making it worse, my this brother. reality. Come on. Let's go, man. I'm making it worse. Who made it back? Gotcha. They just made the kids on the bus. I don't know if they need the medics or not. I think they made the kids on the bus. I don't know what's going on down there. They saw how to make the kids. Now let's explain a bit of what happened. A police officer approached the group that was monitoring Mims and said that his students were maced when they were on the bus. Now, as you just saw, the scene was chaotic after the fact. The clip we just showed you was a band parent shouting at the officers following the incident. Now, when acknowledging children may have been harmed from the altercation, one officer became fearful that those students could grow up to fear the police. How, how are we ever gonna fix this? Now we feel the band, the band, they finna hate on me. Now I gotta try to get up to your school. Your students. Your they students. just got maced on the bus. I gotta get up to your school and fix this. To build this gap, the bridge And all you had to do was climb. That's what I'm saying. That's why y'all just, just should so never look, escalated. That's what I'm it, saying. You allowed it to. Honestly, I think you took every other thing that's going on that happened today, the, the mistreatment that you felt before police got involved, and instead of you complying with officers, you took it out on us. We got to fix this. We got to come up with something. Right now, I care about them babies on that bus that just got me. I, I care about them babies that ain't going to be able to trust the police because of this situation. After the incident, Mims was taken to the hospital to be evaluated and then taken to the Birmingham City Jail for harassment, disorderly conduct, and resisting arrest charges. He bonded out soon after. Several band parents are supporting Mims since what happened. We spoke to several of them this afternoon, and they say some children were maced and left traumatized from the incident. The band booster president says there was a major miscommunication about fifth quarter performances, and it should have been addressed with officials from both schools before the game began. Kids falling out, passing out. One even hit her head, falling off the bus um, due to all of these. Uh, it was told that some of them did get paper spray. I don't know that for sure, but we had one that has asthma and because of the spray had an asthma attack at the school. They're just very traumatized by this. They're not used to seeing stuff. It's one thing to see it on TV, but when you see it in front of you, that's terrifying to any child. Um, this situation could have easily been told, hey, can you get your band to, you know, is we ready to go? Can you get your band and y'all go ahead and leave? Simple as that. More support pouring in for the embattled music teacher. His attorney and representatives with Alabama Education Association stood behind him at a press conference today. He's currently on paid administrative leave from Jefferson County Schools. He says this incident has sparked a lot of conversation across the country, but claimed many believe this never should have happened. And the parents here supporting me, uh, it is very emotional because it's, it's something we all agree, everybody agree, this is something that should never have happened. The Birmingham City Schools says it does not comment on pending litigation, but did release a statement this afternoon saying that as a precaution, as a safety precaution, fifth quarter performances and drumline battles following football games are not a BCS practice. Bands are instructed to promptly exit the stadium. This is even more important when games are played on school nights. We have the full video and responses from both Jefferson County and Birmingham City School Districts on our website and app, you can see it all there.